This spreadsheet is for decoding the uh, needles for Keyheim. On this sheet, the data entry cells are in light blue, which would be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Everything else, forget it. You're not going to enter any information in any other cell. So we've got uh, the 33 to 38 millimeter uh, carbs, their needles here, the three letter code. The 26 to 28 millimeter carbs, their three letter code. The stock needle for the larger carbs, the six uh, digit code right here. So if you've got a bike and you know you want a leaner needle, you want a, a fatter needle, uh, whatever. You type in the code right here and it tells you the taper degrees, the L1 length, the max diameter, which is the, the shaft diameter, and the straight length. Uh, the reason we've got a straight length as well as L1 is L1 is not the length of the straight section. L1 is the length to where the needle is 2.515 millimeter. So on the large carbs, that's going to be, uh, that distance will be longer than the straight length. This line out here representing where the taper starts. Uh, for the 26 to 28 millimeter carbs, L1 is going to be shorter than the straight length. This page right here shows you why the uh, L1 is not always a useful uh, data point. It's actually a manufacturing uh, spec. So on, we've got two needles here, same degrees of taper. Uh, same length and this one is 2.7 millimeters wide and this is 2.65 millimeters wide. The straight length is 2.5 millimeters longer on this needle than it is on this one. And the L1 remains the same. Okay. So this is a good instance where uh, you can see the difference between the L1 and the straight length. And the straight length is important because uh, when that taper begins to clear the needle jet, the clearance between the needle jet and the, and the needle becomes more and more. Okay? So that's an important thing to know, actually. Um, on my web page, it explains about the straight shaft length when you would want that to change that according to where you've got the clip set and actually what the true purpose of the clips are, the needle taper angle, and the needle diameter. This gives full explanation, something you might not have seen anywhere else. Then it explains how in this section, uh, it will it, the the program shows uh, what letter codes would be equivalent to this needle, because you have to have a starting point. So then, uh, and over here it shows you which one of those would be available. There's actually four combos because there's two possibilities here, and two possibilities here. So that is that is useful to know that because then you you can jump off from that knowing if you scroll over here this shows you the codes for the OEM the the stock needles and the equivalent over here and the as the uh, three letter needles and if you look at the diameters here we've got three digits and you look at the diameters here you've got four digits. 
So these fall in between these, which is why you get two letters for each one. This right here shows the uh, needles that are available from Jets R Us and Sudco. Even though I've had more uh, quality items when I order from Sudco. So it shows the three letters of each one. And then it shows the order number right after. As you see, there's a lot of blanks. So sometimes you just got to, you know, pick one that's, that's as close as you can get and just hope for the best. These are the needles for the 26 to 28 carbs. And it's the same thing, the three letter code and the uh, order code. And how you read these, I mean, if you want to, I mean, even without this, if you just want to read them, I'm going to show you how to do it. These columns are the diameters, okay? And each letter signifies the change in diameter, okay? So H signifies 2.675 millimeters. These rows are these letters right here, which is the L1 length, okay? This one is C, E, G, and J. And then each group here is a different, uh, different taper angle, which the letters right above it on each one. So you've got letters for each of these three. But You've got this, which is just, it's easier. So, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, if you've got a needle from a disreputable source, or you don't even know, maybe you, you want to, to test it yourself and see. If you have a digital caliper, you can, you can put, uh, use a, Fine tip marks a lot and put two dots on the needle. Measure that distance and put that distance right here. Then um, measure the diameter at this dot and the diameter at this dot. Put the, the large diameter here and the small diameter here. And this will tell you what the angle is of that, that taper. Okay? All of these three letter needles are single taper, which are perfectly fine in, in most probably in most instances the the single taper needles are superior than the, to the double ones and far superior to the triple ones so uh, what else yeah so so if the if the code says it has 1.57 degrees and then you you do that measurement yourself and over here it says something different well you got a shitty needle. That's all there is to that. And if you want it to be leaner, you want it to be richer, I would go from the measurement. You know, find something on this, this chart that, that goes from there. Anyway, my page tells about how to, um, how to determine if the needle is too lean or too rich, and then you can go from there. So that's that's just the rundown. That's that's the basics here. If you, it's a free spreadsheet. So when you go to this page right here, right here's the uh, web address, and then uh, you click here to download it. This shows the list of all my two-stroke calculators. And this is the list of my best uh, videos on two-stroke subjects. So, yeah, just download it. If you have any questions, let me know. Glad to help. So, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.